In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 12 amazing mineral-based sunscreens that I feel are worth looking into. Every year, I share a video like this where I recommend all of my current favorites, and so I'm doing the exact same thing this year. I'm going to be talking about my holy grails, but also I have been using some new formulations over the last several months as well, and I really love them. So I have a mixture of tinted and non-tinted options here. Now, the reason why I am sharing all mineral in this video is because I am learning that my skin is becoming quite sensitive to chemical based formulations and also hybrid formulas as well where you have both the chemical and mineral ingredients and I don't know why this is the only thing I can think of is because I use tretinoin and I use tretinoin quite a bit in my weekly skincare routine and then of course I'm using other actives as well so I'm wondering if this is the reason and I have heard of people having the same experiences as I'm having with chemical based sunscreens so that is the only thing that I can come up with and I don't like the way that my skin looks and feels when I'm using chemical based so my skin becomes very red I get that burning and that tingling sensation to my skin and I really hate it so that's why I am sharing all mineral because all of these work great on my skin I don't have any irritation whatsoever and they all work amazing underneath makeup as well so let's get right into today's video and of course all of these will be linked below for you for your reference so the first sunscreen that I'm going to be talking about is one that I've been putting to the test lately. So this one is new and this is by Neutrogena and it's the Pure Screen Mineral UV Tint Face Liquid and this contains vitamin E. So it's an SPF 30 and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. So if you plan on being near the water, playing sports, sweating a lot, water resistant formulas are the way to go. So this contains a zinc oxide of 21.6 and a titanium dioxide of 3.2. It comes in four shades. I have it in the lightest shade because when I purchased this, this was a little while ago and I thought, okay, if I'm not self tanning, light would most likely be the shade for me and it is. But if I'm gonna be self tanning, this isn't going to work. This is going to be way too light so I would have to go to the medium shade if I wanted to continue with this while I have a self tanner on. So keep that in mind. But this formula is super lightweight but it's moisturizing and this gives that light coverage as well. So if you have any redness or let's say you have blemishes, dark spots, this doesn't exactly cover that up. I feel like your redness and your blemishes will still shine through, at least from the experience that I have had with this. So sometimes I do like to put a little bit of foundation on those areas for additional coverage or even concealer. And when I do that, I feel like everything looks really good and the complexion looks even. And also you're using less foundation and makeup that way also when you're using a tinted formula. So I really like it. I feel like this is a great affordable option, something that evens out your skin tone slightly, but it just has that lightweight formula that feels very comfortable on the skin and I really like it. So this would be a great option to look into, especially if you're looking for something like that. The next sunscreen is also new. This is by Eucerin. This is the Sensitive Mineral Face SPF 35. So this is a buildable tint that is suited for all skin tones. According to Eucerin, but let me tell you something, they are very inaccurate with that because on my fair skin, this is pretty dark. So if you have a lighter skin tone than I do, this is going to be very dark. So if you're self tanning, this will most likely work for you, but on its own, without a tan, this is so unnatural on my skin tone. So I wouldn't say it's exactly suited for all skin tones here, but I think that this formula is amazing. So they say this is a matte formulation. I would say that this is more of that skin-like finish. It doesn't exactly give your skin that glow, but it feels comfortable. It doesn't feel drying on the skin. It does not cling to dry patches, which is really important for me. I don't like when sunscreen cling onto dry patches where you have that flakiness and I hate when sunscreens make my skin feel tight. This one does not. This one is very moisturizing. It's incredible and I don't use this with foundation because 
this is too dark on its own. I don't want my foundation to go on top of this to create that darker look to my skin. So when I was testing this, I had to bring it down my neck and a little bit to my chest, depending on the shirt I was wearing. And I hate bringing tinted sunscreens down my neck because I don't like it transferring onto my clothes. So generally I will use a tinted option for my face and a regular option for my neck. And that's how I usually wear my tinted sunscreens. But I mean, when I was testing this, I wasn't self tanning. So I had to bring it down my neck. And of course everything blended perfectly. And it gave my skin this really nice tan, which I really loved. It had this nice glow, that sun kissed glow, but on its own without tanner, a little bit too dark. But I think this is really nice. So this has a zinc oxide of 24%. So if you're looking for that affordable option, something that does have a little bit more coverage than the Neutrogena, then this would be the one to look into. The next one is by Dr. Jart. This is the Tiger Grass Camo Drops. This has an SPF 35 with a zinc oxide of 2.9% and a titanium dioxide of 1.9%. This really helps to neutralize on redness. So again, I have some redness to my skin naturally. If I have any blemishes, this really helps to tone down on that redness. And this pretty much gives my skin that even skin tone. So I like to use this on those no makeup makeup days because again, it does a really good job to add that color to my skin, but also to even out everything. And this blends into my skin so nicely. And my skin isn't orange with this either. I know that there has been some people that had said that this one and also the cream version of this can leave your skin orange. I don't have that whatsoever. And again, it blends right into my neck perfectly and it looks very natural. So this will give your skin that radiance. So it looks like your skin, but better with a little bit of a glow. It's not greasy, it's not sticky. It's the perfect texture and formulation. And it's also very hydrating and lightweight. So again, I will use this in replacement of foundation. I will put a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes, a little bit of mascara, a tinted lip balm, and if I need extra coverage, I will just put some concealer in those areas. But this is buildable, and I would say this would be more of that light to medium coverage. But again, if you want to build on that for additional coverage, you can easily do that with this product. So it comes out green, and as you apply it to your skin, it does neutralize, and it just blends in so nicely. The next one is by Ilia, and if you've been with me for a while, you know how much I love this product and I'm still using it. So this is the Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. So this is similar to Dr. Jart in the way that it comes out and they're both like a serum, but they're also very different. There are so many shades to pick from with this line. So if you are super fair or you are on that darker skin tone, then there are options here. There are so many. So I have it in the shade Aura. So this is what I use when I am self tanning. And then I do have the shade Tulum, which is lighter. So that one is more for when I'm at my fairest. And sometimes I will use the two together depending on my skin tone at that time. So let's say my self tanner is wearing off, then that's usually when I like to mix the two together. So this is all mineral, like I said, zinc oxide of 12%. There's hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and squalene. So I do feel like this formula is a little heavier than the Dr. Jart. It's also more glowy and dewy on the skin. So if you are looking for that complexion, this is going to do it for you. And also it's very hydrating as well. The only downfall I will say with this is that when you apply it to your skin, I feel like it does take a little while to tone down. So your skin will look really shiny at first, but once it starts to dry down and when it's at its perfect finish, you will have the most healthiest looking skin. It just gives that perfect complexion. So I am a big fan of this. I use this on those no makeup makeup days. This does help to even at your skin tone and I feel like this is buildable. It gives that light to medium coverage and I do like to pair this up with concealer, mascara and all of the other stuff that I typically use on those no makeup makeup days. The next one is by Color Science and this is truly one of my favorite formulas here. This this is the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield, but the Flex line. So I have it in the shade Medium, but I also have it in the shade 
fair as well. So when I'm at my fairest, I use this one, and when I am a little bit darker, then the medium one seems to blend really nicely. So this one has an SPF 50 with a PA++++, and it's also water resistant up to 40 minutes. So this one comes out white, but then of course, as you are applying this all over your skin, it does help to even out your skin tone. It gives your skin that nice color, and it really does help to reduce on any redness that you may have as well. And I feel like this works really well on its own, but when you pair this up with your foundation, if you decide to, this acts as a makeup primer. Your skin looks so flawless when you have this underneath. It almost gives this blurring effect. And of course, when I use this, I don't use much foundation at all. I might just use a little bit just to add to certain sections just for more coverage, but my concealer goes on so nicely, my bronzer, my blush, and by the way, I use a lot of cream-based blushes and bronzers and even liquid-based blushes, everything just applies so nicely on top of this. And I get that nice longevity as well throughout the day. Nothing breaks apart and everything just stays in place. So this one is excellent underneath my foundation. So when I'm wearing foundation, I will use the fair one so that it's not giving my skin too much color. And then of course, if I just wanna wear something on its own in replacement of foundation, then I will use the medium one because I do feel like the fair is is quite fair and sometimes I feel like my skin does look a little bit washed out so I will sometimes even mix these two if I need to of course that's not necessary find a shade that's going to match perfectly to your skin but I feel like I'm always in between those shades and sometimes I do need to mix two shades together, even with foundations. I feel like I have to do the same thing. So I really like these. There is a 12% zinc oxide. It will give your skin that skin-like finish, and there might be a slight glow to your skin. It's very natural looking, which is why I love these so much. Now, the next one is by Paula's Choice. This is one of my favorites, by the way. This is the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This has a zinc oxide of 13%, and I've been talking about this for a few years now, and it has a beautiful formula. So this contains antioxidants, it contains resveratrol, so great to protect the skin again from the environment, great for signs of aging. And also this has willow bark extract, which has this calming, soothing property to it. Great for all skin types in my opinion, but this is really good if you have oily combination skin. It's not, too heavy, but it's not extremely moisturizing either. It just has that nice formula that gets reached the point, it keeps your skin comfortable, but not overly moisturized, if that makes sense. So they say this is a matte formula. I personally don't believe this is mattifying at all. I feel like this is more of that skin-like finish, which I much prefer. I don't like that matte look on my skin, so, if you were to skip a moisturizer before this, then maybe you could achieve that matte look. Because of the types of moisturizers that I am using before this, that's probably why I am getting more of that skin-like finish. And then sometimes I can even make this a dewy finish if I'm using a rich moisturizer beforehand, which I love to do from time to time. And the last sunscreen in the tinted category is also by Color Science, and this is the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Brush-On Shield. This is an SPF 50 with a PA++++. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes and it has a zinc oxide of 22.4% and a titanium dioxide of 22.4%. This is what I use to reapply my sunscreen on top of my makeup throughout the day. Powder options are great because we can't exactly put our liquid sunscreen on top of our makeup because then of course our makeup gets ruined. So this is a great option to do or of course you could just use a aerosol SPF and spray it on top of your makeup. I've done that before and it does work pretty well but I much prefer the powder option and it does an excellent job and I've been using this for several years. So it does come in several shades. I have it in the shade fair and this acts as that translucent shade so it doesn't pack on too much color when I'm using it throughout the day. This is actually a brand new one that I just picked up so you just tip it upside down 
pat the bottom a few times and then of course the powder starts coming through the bristles and I just go in circular motions all over my face and my neck and I do that several times a day. If I was just using a regular sunscreen, like a non-tinted option, I would just reapply that on top and create layers. But when I'm wearing makeup or let's say a tinted sunscreen, this is what I use and it never disappoints. Now I will say I do disinfect the bristles from time to time. So I just actually get a spray bottle. I put a little bit of alcohol, dilute it with a little bit of water and I just spray the bristles like that. I don't want to submerge the brush into something because the powder actually comes out from the base and I don't want that liquid getting inside the container. So I feel like spraying it with alcohol works better doing it that way to slightly disinfect. I don't think it's disinfecting it 100%, but it's still doing a decent job and it's better than nothing. And I've never had an issue with breakouts or nothing. So just thought I would put that out there. Moving on to my non-tinted options. These are the ones that I use a lot as well. So this is by Summer Fridays. This is the Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Mineral Milk Sunscreen. This has a zinc oxide of 9.4%. This is not not water resistant just so you know and this is what I like to use when I am using tinted formulas because this is extremely lightweight this is literally like that milky serum and it absorbs so nicely into your skin it spreads really nice also it's not heavy it's not sticky it doesn't pill and it's wonderful when you are using tinted options on top or even makeup this really is one of my go-to's and I use this quite a bit I was using Using this through the winter months as well it did an excellent job when my skin was at its driest and this works so well and I love it so I highly recommend this if you are looking for that serum texture also this has that beigey tone to it as well so I really do feel like it helps to disguise on that white cast I don't have a white cast with this whatsoever on my skin tone but if you do have a darker skin tone there's always that possibility of a slight cast but if you can find a formula that does have that beigey tone I really do feel like it helps with that white cast it's not as noticeable and it just blends into the skin a little bit nicer the next one is by dr. Dennis gross this is the all physical lightweight wrinkle defense broad spectrum SPF 30 with a PA plus 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 Plus, and this has a zinc oxide of 16.2%. This one reminds me of the Summer Fridays because it has that beigey tone. It still has that serum type of texture, but this one is a little bit richer. So it's a little bit more moisturizing than the Summer Fridays, and it can feel a little heavier than the Summer Fridays as well. But this one works great underneath makeup also, perfect on its own, and I really love the ingredient list here as well. So this contains ferulic acid, so that is a wonderful antioxidant that will protect our skin from the environment. Also great for signs of aging, brightening up the skin, and there's polyglutamic acid as well and if you didn't already know polyglutamic acid is very similar to hyaluronic acid and I have a separate serum that I like to use from the inky list from time to time and it's exceptional so I like how this formula contains that with the ferulic and there's a lot of other great ingredients as well so it's very moisturizing perfect for all skin types and also this is available in Canada now so if you've been wanting to get your hands on this you can now and this just happened I had one before this that was gifted to me a couple of years ago from dr. Dennis and I just recently finished it and I purchased this one so again if you've been wanting to try it you can now pick it up and it's one of the best I'm telling you right now the good molecules sheer mineral sunscreen SPF 30 is another great option especially for all skin types this one is also very lightweight and moisturizing but this one will give your skin a slight slight cast. If I were to really analyze my skin in the mirror, I do see a slight cast even on my skin tone. So if you do have a darker skin tone, you probably will see something. But if you're someone that wears makeup, then that shouldn't be an issue because of course your foundation will just get rid of that cast. But I really like this formula. It also has a vitamin C derivative. And I also feel like this formula is quite plumping as well. I really love how my skin looks with this, even on its own. So so 
it does give that natural finish, but you will have a little bit of that glowing complexion as well, which again, I think is beautiful. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but I really do like that finish with a sunscreen and this is it. Very affordable. I believe this is like $12. Canadians can purchase from the Good Molecules website, just so you know, but super affordable and you really can't go wrong with this one. Next up is the Dermatology Daydream Moisturizer. This has a built-in SPF 40 and this has a zinc oxide of 17%. This is also water resistant up to 80 minutes and I was talking about this a little while ago and I really love this formulation. So it's non-tinted. I love the packaging. It has that push down button style packaging that is so easy to use. The only thing I will say is it's very hard to put two to three finger lengths of this because you have to push down on this several times and then measure it out on your fingers. And when you do put the proper amount, I feel like it's very heavy on the skin and your skin will look pretty greasy as well. So it's a little bit too much. So I actually like to use this when I'm just working from home and I don't plan on going out. I just want that moisturizer but with that built-in SPF, this is perfect. But if I am going out and I want to use this, I will use this as my moisturizer. Then I will go in with a different mineral sunscreen on top and put two to three finger lengths of that to get the proper SPF protection. If you have dry skin, this is going to be your best friend. You're going to absolutely love it. And of course, it's fragrance-free as well. So, Great option to look into. This has shea butter in it. And also I have a discount code for you guys where you can get 20% off if you use my discount code Sincerely Miss Ash. And the last sunscreen that I'm gonna be talking about is by Supergoop, and this is the Mineral Sheer Screen SPF 30. Now, this is a little guy that I have, and I believe last year I recommended this, and I had the little mini size as well, and I actually really like these mini sizes. I like to have options with my sunscreens, and I feel like this is one that I don't reach for a lot, but I do like to use this one occasionally, and I feel like the mini size is perfect. Also, if you want something small in your bag as well something that you can reapply throughout the day if you're just wearing this on its own how easy and convenient is this it's not going to take up too much room either and this formula is also great for all skin types it's really lightweight and there is antioxidant properties in here as well which help to protect your skin from the environment and this one has a zinc oxide of where is it where is it 17.5% and I don't feel like I get a white cast with this one either. This one is a true sheer mineral screen. You know, on my skin tone, yes, but I feel like this is lovely. And I've never had an issue with pilling with this one. Also great with other skincare products. You can't go wrong with any one of these. And this is just that 12th product that I feel I had to include in this video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this sunscreen video. Hopefully I introduced you to something new today. We have a lot of formulations here, a lot of options depending on what you're looking for. We have those tinted and non-tinted. And I would love to hear from you. What are your favorite sunscreens? And also if you have any questions in regards to these, please let me know in the comments below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. And of course these will be linked below for you for your reference, including my dermatology discount code as well. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. So take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys.